just wanted to show you how you can take a link for a Seesaw activity and save that into your class. We are asking that you have your students sign a technology contract for their iPads and we are recommending you do this in, as a Seesaw activity. Um, so we're providing the link to you um, in an email. So you'll just take, click on this link in the email we're going to send you and it's going to bring you to the technology contract and it just talks through behaviors. So you can teach this part any way that you would like and then what we're asking you to do is have the kids sign it in Seesaw and to do that you will take this activity link and click save activity and once you click save activity it's going to put that activity into your library in Seesaw. So if I click on my library, I'm going to see that I have this technology contract there. So I'm going to click on the contract and I can click now on share. And if you teach multiple classes, you have to choose which class or both of them that you want to share it with. Um, but most classroom teachers are just going to choose the one class that you have and you'll click share. Okay. So now your students, will go in and complete the activity and there is a separate video that we will have for you on how students find activities but once students have submitted their answers and responses to an activity this is how you will find their work you'll click a lot of times you're on this journal feed where you see the posts that students have done but if you click on activities you can see here's that technology contract and I'm going to scroll down because this that top one was a duplicate. But here is the one that my students have seen and completed. And I can tell that in this activity, two students have completed it. If I click on the gray bar that's part of that activity, it lets me see who has completed it and which students have not yet responded. So if I click on patch, I can see Patch's answer. This happens to be a video because Patch recorded himself reading it. And I can approve it one at a time, or what I can do is go into that te waiting for teacher approval, and I can respond on that other page, on my journal page. You can go to that review, and if, you, if it's all the technology contracts, you can simply click on that green approve all, and it will go to all of the students' journals. As always, if you have questions, please submit a DLC request or reach out to your building DLC. We are more than happy to help.